It won't do you any good to scream, Audrey. No one can hear you. Get out of the house, Audrey. Get out of the house while you still can. She's on TV. She can't hear you. And by the way, I'm on TV and I can't hear you either. I heard that. But I saw a ghost, Greg. <laughs> you couldn't possibly have seen a ghost. I know how horror movies work. She'll be safe until she asks, how can you be sure? I trust you, Greg, but how can you be sure? Here it comes. Because I'm the only ghost here. <laughs> I love to watch horror movies with John and Odie. They never touch their popcorn. I can't watch another second of this. I hate ghost stories. They terrify me. Nothing scares me. Except maybe anchovies on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something will scare you, cat. Something's gonna scare you real good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pookie, while John's away, I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect sandwich. The secret lies in two essential points, quantity, and more importantly, quantity. A true work of art, wouldn't you agree, Pookie? Oh, Pookie? Odd. I would have sworn Pookie was sitting next to me. <gasps> How'd you get over here? <laughs> Oh, my sandwich. Odie, bad dog. You ate my sandwich. Huh? Come on. You're here and the sandwich isn't. Therefore, you ate it and I'll prove it. There will be crumbs and residues of ham, cheese, tomato, pastrami. Hey, that's weird. Not a single trace of food. Whew. But you could use a mint. So, if you didn't eat the sandwich, who did? <laughs> a ghost? You think we're being haunted by a ghost? As usual, empty. Listen, Pop, ghosts only exist in movies and TV shows. They don't exist in the real world. <laughs> Bodie, remember a moment ago I said, this is no time to panic? <laughs> that wasn't. This is... <laughs> I never cared much for that chair. And we can do without that table. And we don't need... No! Not the TV! Boy, that was close. What would I ever do without you? You think I know how to make a mess? This guy knows how to make a mess. Oh. Hey, ghost, I know you're here, you mean home wrecking spineless spook. You don't scare me. Okay, ghost, no need to get angry, I get the picture. <laughs> know that laugh. Where did I hear that laugh before? Garfield, Odie, I'm home. <laughs> I'm going to fix myself a snack and go right to my office and go to work. He didn't notice. <laughs> he noticed. What did you do? I mean, I, I, how, I, 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 how could you? Hey, we didn't do this. I've been framed. <laughs> <laughs> What? Are you trying to tell me a ghost did this? 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's the lamest excuse I ever heard. And I have no choice but to punish you. Punish us? <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for dinner. I'll have the Caesar salad to start, dressing on the side, then the shrimp cocktail followed by French onion soup with extra cheese, corn on the cob with extra butter and a side of lasagna. For dessert, apple pie with mint chip ice cream and a couple of seven layers. There you chips. go. <laughs> Kitty witty dry cat food made from all artificial ingredients. <laughs> this is not what I ordered. That's all huh? you're getting for the next year. <gasps> bon appetit. A year? I can't take a year of this. I can't take a mouthful. Who could be stupid enough to eat this? <laughs> He's not getting away with this. I demand food. <laughs> okay, John, you want to play? I'm game. Don't bother, Garfield. This kitchen is burglar-proof and Garfield-proof. <laughs> oh well, at least the food is better here. Huh? That laugh again. I know I've heard it before. It's like it came from one of the houses across the street. Nathan? <gasps> Lunch is ready! Coming, Mother! I know who the ghost is. It's it's Nathan, that bratty science geeky kid across the street. The kid who shrunk me to the size of a mouse. The kid who cloned Odie into 12 dogs with the collective brains of a hockey puck. The kid who turned Nermal into a cockroach. Can you believe that? Someone actually found a way to make Nermal more annoying? Hmm. <laughs> Told ya. Journal, my invisibility machine is working to perfection. Phase one, getting back at that stupid orange cat and that dumb huh? puppy was a total success. What? And now, phase two, to terrorize the entire neighborhood, and then the city, and finally, the whole wide world. <laughs> Nathan, your lunch is getting uh -huh. cold. Let's see how this thing works. <laughs> ah! Okay, the green button makes you invisible. Let's see what happens when I push the white button. Okay, got it. White button reverses it. Thanks for lunch, oh. Mo. I'm gonna eat in my huh? lap or a uh, room. Uh oh, green button time. I'll eat as soon as I finish rearranging the world's time zones. Mmm, spaghetti. Mmm, boy. Nathan's mother raised a rotten kid, but she sure makes a mean marinara. Done. Now for my lunch. Oh, well. I don't have time for lunch now. And now let's go out and wreak havoc in the neighborhood. <laughs> Over my invisible body. Ouch! What was that? That was for the stupid orange cat? And this is for the dumb puppy. Hey, whoever you are, you're going to be sorry you did that. Ouch! Time out. I need to catch my breath. I'm a geek, not an athlete. Well, if you're feeling tired, why don't you grab a chair? You missed. On guard. Timber! Ouch! That hurt. Nathan? What's going on here? Nathan! <gasps> what happened? Nathan, where are you? He's right here. <sighs> Nathan! What on earth have you been up to again? I built an invisibility machine. That's what geniuses like me do, Mom. We build cool stuff. Oh, yeah? And how does your genius account for your destroyed room? <laughs> 
See you, Nathan. There! It was that stupid orange cat who wrecked my room. Huh. I don't see any cat. It was Garfield Honest. He used my machine to make himself Enough. invisible and... I'm sick and tired of your inventions. Ah! So much for your silly invisibility oh! machine. Nah, no buts. Now, well, I guess that takes care of the boy genius. Like, now let's look into the dining situation at home. Oh, I'm sorry, Odie, but you don't get any pizza. You and Garfield are only getting dry food for a year. That'll teach you to try and convince me that our house was wrecked by ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly fib. <laughs> now, if you could convince me that there were ghosts, I'd believe you. But we all know there are no such thing as... Ghosts! Help! Ghosts! My house is haunted! Help! Pizza eating ghosts! Hi, Odie. It's me. Oh, wait. I'll explain it to you after I finish my pizza. Boy, this was a great episode. The animators must have especially loved it. They probably took the week off. Mmm. you guys just love it when we come up here to the farm and stay with my brother? I want to go home. There's the sun, the air, the great outdoors. I want to go home. What more could anyone want? TV, oh. pizza delivery, air conditioning, an internet connection, my own bed, and not being woken up at 5 a.m. by a stupid rooster. I want to go home. <laughs> I just wish Doc Boy didn't work so hard. Don't call me Doc Boy. You know what he needs? A companion. You know what I need? To go home. But I think you're working too hard. You're low too much. Doc Boy always works like that. Have I mentioned that I want to go home? I want to go home. Look, Garfield, I know you're bored. Here, take my cell phone. There are plenty of games on there and you can access the internet. Maybe it'll keep you busy. I want to go home. Don't you ever do anything but chores? Not now, John. Can't you see I'm busy? I was trying to say that maybe you need a woman in your life. I don't have time for a woman in my life. I have a farm to run. Care for an omelet? <laughs> you should have someone at your side. Someone to share the pleasures and trials of life. Where will I find someone? I work from dawn till dusk and I live in the middle of nowhere. Pizza? Gloria, you usually deliver packages. And I didn't order any pizzas. <laughs> no, but I have a strange hunch who did. Garfield, did you use my cell phone to order those from Vito's? Yes, and I still want to go home. So, how are you, Mr. Arbuckle? Busy. I have to slop hogs. Say, have you seen that new monster movie at the drive-in? It's still playing if you have it. Oh. Watch this. He'll blow it. I don't have time for monster movies. I have corn to pick. I told you. Bye. Oh. You want the crust? <laughs> mm. Too bad there aren't going to be any. <laughs> Here, I was kidding. By the way, I still want to go home. I'm telling you, she's interested in you. Oh. She's the Rush Around Express driver. She's interested in picking up packages and delivering packages. It's not natural to live your life alone. Life is meant to be shared. You know what the three most wonderful words are in the entire world? 
Let's go home. John, could we discuss this after I plow the North 40? <gasps> Garfield, uh, 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 we need to pack. Oh, we're packed. <laughs> I don't want to stay here and watch my brother spend his life picking apples alone. Uh, hello? John, it's your brother. Sorry to wake you up at this hour. When you were here, you said something about the three most wonderful words in the world. But you didn't say what the words were. I love you. Well, I love you too, John. But what are the three words? Ah, I get it. Talk to you in the morning. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, that might be nice to hear once in a while. I'll get it. Of course you will. Oh, Doc Boy. I thought about what you said. You're right. I need a woman in my life. <laughs> Excellent. And the best place to find one is in the city. I had my friend Elmer drop me off, and he's going to be watching my farm for me. I'm going to stay with you until I find the love of my life. Yo, and, and don't, don't call, call me you Doc, Doc Boy. Boy. Right. He said that as long as he's staying with us, he insists on cooking. Here you go, a nice healthy farm dish. Dandelion and wheatgrass soup. <laughs> ah. To grow proper rutabagas, you need well-prepared soil in a sheltered area with full sun. That's good to know. You don't mind me watching my farm programs, do you? Uh, no. Good, because there's a five-hour special on later about different kinds of shop. <laughs> we have to help that man meet someone so we can get Doc Boy out of here. <laughs> See you later, John. I'm going to town. Hi there. Gee, I seem to have lost my Nobel Peace Prize somewhere around here. Oh no. He's just gonna walk up to strangers and try to strike up a conversation? Huh? You're asking what could happen? Oh well, I have several more at home. Say, I was wondering if... <laughs> <laughs> that. You can't just approach strangers like that, it's rude. Oh, wait. Oh. This is promising. He's figuring out that there may be something wrong with that just fell off the tractor look. He's going in to buy himself a new outfit. Odie, this is great. Hey, that's not a bad outfit if you want to look like Binky the Clown. Anyone out there remember Binky? Yeah, I didn't think so. Seven foot tall lady wrestler, age 70, who plays the bagpipes, seeking male any age who enjoys watching Bread Ghost Tale. Hmm, not for me. Excuse me, miss. May I hold your fine dog for you while you tie your shoelace? Why, that would be very nice of you. Here. Keep a good grip on him. He gets very upset if he sees a cat. Hey, she's actually talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! 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 
Chomp the kitty! <laughs> Give me that! Hey, wait! Would you like to go out with me sometime? <sighs> Hi, Garfield. I'm not doing so well with women. I need a magic potion that will make them like me. Ay, ay, ay. This guy doesn't get it. There are no magic potions. It's just a matter of people liking each other. Hey. Huh? Try Philippe's cologne. Makes men irresistible to women. Sounds like just what I need. <laughs> that kind of thing never. One whiff of this, and the ladies will love me. What is that wonderful smell? Is it you? It's it's you. What is that fragrance? Oh, you smell so divine! Ladies, please, I'm from the farm. Don't get too excited. Huh? He's heading away! Please, ladies, I'm outnumbered. There you are, you wonderful smelling creature. You're mine, all mine. Yes, I'm yours, all yours. Let's go out to dinner some night. Where would you like to go? Anywhere that I can smell you. Oh, Henry. What are you doing with my girlfriend? I'm really sorry you couldn't find your soulmate, Doc Boy. Maybe you need to give it more than one day. Huh, or maybe I'm just meant to be alone. And don't call me, you know. Gloria, what brings you here? I didn't call for a pickup. We have a date, remember? A date? Yes, you send me these gorgeous flowers with the nurse's card. Dear Gloria, please accept these modest flowers. Would you go out with me tonight to see that monster movie at the drive-in? Oh, I thought you'd never ask me. But, but I, I, well, I... Garfield, huh? did you use my cell phone to order flowers for Gloria and compose that cheesy invite? <laughs> nice work. You see, Odie? You don't have to go out and find happiness. You just have to be willing to let it find you. Whoa, that was deep, wasn't it? Oh, oh Garfield, almost uh, forgot. Here's your delivery. <laughs> and of course, there are other ways of finding happiness. another show to be on. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Well, that's it for me. I'll tell you what, the benefit has thanks. I don't care. You think I care? Well, I don't care. See? But you'll all be in big trouble because I'm going to report you all to Jim Davis. The nerve of those people. Could we have some dialogue from time to time, please? Don't they know whose show this is? Whose name is in the title? Does it say the Eddie Gourmand show at the beginning? I don't think so. Ooh. Hello? Anybody here? Stage manager? Director? Writers? Hello? Everybody's deserting me today. There isn't even any background music. Oh. Well, at least they left me a script for this week. The Big Discovery. Eh, already I don't like it. Note to self, remember to fire the writers. Okay, let's see here. Fade in exterior Arbuckle House day. John doing something? New character? Eh, I'm sick of new characters. When do I get to be on my show? Oh, here I am. 
we find Garfield curled up in bed, sound asleep. <laughs> First good idea they've had. <sighs> Maybe a short dream sequence will help. I don't need oh, I could do the show all by myself. I could play all the parts. I could do the I don't need those guys. I don't need anyone. Oh, one, one. No, I will not fetch the stick. Can you believe we paid someone to write that? There is absolutely nothing in this world that could get me out of bed today. Oh, Garfield, I'm going out for a while. My nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming by for a visit. Arf, arf. Nothing in this world, not even John's nieces. <laughs> John's nieces! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! Uncle John! Uncle John! I don't think he's here, Minerva. I keep telling you. I'm Drusilla, you're Minerva. Oh, right. And we're here to play with the... Please stay away from the kitty cat. Please stay away from the kitty cat. Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Don't feel me. Kitty cat! Those won't keep them out. I need something large to barricade the door. Bed? This refrigerator? Elephant! I can't eat You don't understand, Agnes. This cat does terrible things to me. Well, for instance, he just dropped a bed on me. And a refrigerator. And of course, an elephant. I... Do me a favor. There are two little girls chasing me. Distract them while I get away. Will you do that for me? Elephant! <laughs> Let's style his trunk. We need to moisturize him. Ignis, I'm coming home. This episode's starting to get a little bit silly. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I got away from him. <sighs> I must have. I'm not in ladies' clothing. I'm safe. Hi, Garfield. <sighs> I'm not safe. Normal. That's right. It's me, Normal. The cutest kitten on this or any other planet. I think I dropped the elephant on the wrong person. <laughs> Sorry! Do you have a reason for being here, Normal? Or did you just come by to tell me how cute you are? I just came by to tell you how cute I am. Okay, at least he's being honest. Excuse me, but I'm a very important, powerful agent from Hollywood. I just saw you standing here, and I couldn't help but notice how incredibly handsome and adorable you are. Naturally. No, not you. I meant the other one. I've never seen a handsomer face than that. You're beautiful. Nah, <laughs> you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. No, no, I'm beautiful. Take a look at this. No, I don't think so. Would you mind if I made you a fabulously rich and famous TV star? Well, as long as I'm home in time for dinner. Not a problem. We need a truly beautiful animal for a new commercial. We'll be doing a screen test, and if you're the one, you'll be fabulously rich and famous. It's not fair! It's not fair, I tell you! <laughs> Put me on TV! Put this face on TV! I have to get that screen test for myself and beat Garfield out to become fabulously rich and famous! Okay, so uh, what do I do? Well, just do what you do huh? best. Fine. Eating or sleeping? I have to go scout more talent, but the director will take care of you. And remember, you're beautiful, baby. Nah, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. 
Okay, have it your way, I'm beautiful. Um, uh, what do I do now? Mr. Director! Here I am, Garfield. Now, we'd just like to see you do a little dance for us. Oh, sure. Um, how's this? Fine, fine. Now, uh, turn around. <laughs> oh, if he gets his job, I won't be able to stand it. I have to do something. Very good, Garfield. Now, uh, for the next part of your screen test... <laughs> He's done. Now it's time for my screen test. Put the camera on me. Let it show how awesome I am. Normal. This is my screen test. I uh, think we have what we need on you, Garfield. We'll test this cat now. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Normal cat. Starve tomorrow. Uh, give me a second, Normal. I'll be right back. My awesomeness, and I will be waiting, Mr. Director Person. <laughs> All right, Normal. I want you to do everything I say. Okay, ready. Lift up your left foot. Lift up your right foot. Fall down and go boom. No. Get up. Stand on your head. Stand on your feet. Quack like a duck. Oh, quack, quack. Eat a pint of yogurt. Boogie till you drop. Do a push-up. One. <laughs> Collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> That's great, great, Dermal. <laughs> you tricked me, Garfield. Well, I don't care. I'm gonna get this job. No, you're not. I'm gonna be fabulously rich and famous, and I'm gonna get this job. <laughs> I'm a lot more adorable than you are, and more talented, and I'm cuter in every way, and everyone says so. You're not as awesome as you think you are, Nermal, and I'm gonna mail you to Abu Dhabi again, you annoying cat. Hey, guys, guys, you gotta stop arguing. Which, Which one, one of you gets your job? job? Neither what? one of you. I found an animal more adorable than both of you put together. Show them what you can do, Jumbo. I'm gonna make that elephant fabulously rich and famous. So, what do you think? I think huh? we need to learn that. Right. And a one, and a two. Whoa, what a dream sequence. And I really like the cast. That's the answer. I really don't need anybody else. I'll play all the roles from now on. Maybe I can even play the elephant's part. First, I'll play myself. That's not much of a stretch. Snore, snore, snore. Then I'll play Odie. And then, John. I'll play John. Garfield, I want you to behave yourself. This is how I behave. If you don't behave, no lasagna for you. You can't mean it. I do mean it. And I can play Vito, too. Ah, Senor Arbuckle, I have a nice hot pizza for your pussy gato. Oh, smells great. What's on it? <laughs> it's just what you asked for. A Vito special with a, the anchovies. Anchovies? I didn't want anchovies. You asked for the anchovies. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Didn't, did, didn't. Did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did. I can't do this. I can't do this all by myself. Too many Noahs and yeses and stuff. I need others on my show. I need Odie. Yes, I need you, Odie. Yes, and I need you, John. We all decided to come back, Garfield. And I need you. And I need you. And I need you. No, not you. <laughs> but I really need you without the anchovies. <gasps> ah, no anchovies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, everyone, I, I've learned my lesson. I'll give you all lines on the show. I'll share the spotlight. I'll even see about paying some of you. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, 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 Thank you so much. Hey, Garfield, how about sharing that pizza with us? I'd Maybe like to be yeah. that Are you out of your minds?
Hello, Mr. Harbuckle. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. And isn't it a lovely day? Right. <laughs> You're in a good mood, Mr. Harbuckle. I'm cooking dinner for Liz tonight, and we're going to have a wonderful evening. Life is good. Bye. Yeah, he's right. Life is good. I actually delivered the mail to Arbuckle without running into that cat of his. Ow! That's a special delivery. Welcome to the Mudball Express. <laughs> I guess I should have been expecting that. Well, let's see if I can guess whose electric bill this is. Mm -hmm. Set the table for dinner. Check. Dust the TV. Check. Pick up trash from Garfield's mid-afternoon snack. Check. Uh, which brings me to the thing I've been putting off as long as possible. Give pets a bath. <laughs> oh, that was great. Anyone can build a house of mud. We built an entire shopping mall. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, guys, I baked you some lasagna. It's cooling off in the bathroom upstairs. Hey. Lasagna? <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Where's the lasagna? Hmm. Hold on a sec, Odie. I smell something and it isn't us. Why would John put lasagna in the bathroom unless... <gasps> it's a trap! <laughs> Bath time! Bye. I don't care what you say or what you do. You are going to take a bath. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take one just as soon as I get home. <gasps> what makes him think we need baths? We took baths. Well, sometime this year. Hey, let's go see Vito. Maybe he'll treat us to a slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. <laughs> oh, no, senor. We are not delivering for the next hour. I'm watching my favorite TV program, Complain, Complain with Eddie Gourmand. <laughs> Excuse me while I hang up. Hey, Paul! Oh. Hey, Paul! Welcome back to Complain, Complain with me, Eddie Gourmand. This is the show where you, the public, can call in and air your complaints about anything. Except, of course, this show or my wardrobe. <laughs> ah, I see where we have our next caller on the video chat. John Arbuckle. I know John Arbuckle. John, what is your complaint? And why do I think it involves your cat? My cat and my dog. They won't let me give them a bath, and boy, do they need it. So I'm offering a big cash reward to anyone who can give them a bath and return them home before 8 o'clock. I emailed you a recent photo of them. Ooh, we have that image. Take a good look at it, people of this fair city. Ooh, oh, a big cash reward. You can make a lot of money if you find these two and bathe them. <laughs> Vito can do that. A big cash reward. Mrs. Schmidlap can eat salad tonight. I'm gonna go find that cat and dog and give them a bath. All you have to do is give my cat and dog a bath. I'll give his cat and dog a bath. John is making a wonderful dinner for me tonight, Mother. What, strange? No, I don't think John is strange. Name one strange thing he's ever done. Please give my cat and dog a bath, please, please! I'll pay you. Somebody give my cat and dog a bath! <laughs> Mother, I'll talk to you later. Fortunately, no one will take him up on that silly offer. <laughs> Oh, I 
Huh? Is it me or is everyone acting weird today? <gasps> Watch out, Odie! Watch it, will you? What's wrong with all these people? <laughs> Come on, Vito's is right down the block here, and pizza cures all ills. Oh, God, hurry! We get the big cash reward. <laughs> Garfield, Odie, oh, come in, come in. I make the special just for you. I don't care what it is, as long as there's a lot of it. Oh yes. Wow, at last, a decent sized bowl of minestrone. Um, yeah. This minestrone tastes like bath water. Yeah. In you go! Huh? Come on, Pop. Vito, what's the soup of the day? I think it is a me. Yeah! Why is everyone suddenly so concerned with their hygiene? You two, get in the tub! Time to wash. And Ivy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, wouldn't it be easier to just take a bath? <laughs> this is becoming a matter of principle. In the tub! <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Are you upset? Oh. You idiot! You moron! You idiotic moron! <laughs> 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 We don't smell that bad, do we? <laughs> Darkening is locked. Drop the soap and water containers. Calabunga! Let's see what kind of trouble we're in now. Hi, huh? guys. It's Liz. Oh. oh, you guys look like you need someone to rescue you from all those people with soap and water and brushes, huh? We're saved. Oh, this is great. Oh. Hey, this isn't the way home. I have to forget about Garfield and Odie for now. Liz will be here any minute. Where should I put the cake? That must be Liz now. I just wish I'd been able to get Garfield and Odie bathed before she got here. Uh, I'd like my big cash reward, please. What? I mean, how? The I, I deal mean, I mean... was a big cash reward for getting them bathed and bringing them back here. Here they are. Huh? But, 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 but uh, our date! I... I can't. I have to go to my hairdresser now and buy some new clothes.
It's okay, John. Whatever you cook for her, we'll eat. Well, at least you two got washed, and that's a good... Oh, oh look oh. at John, all messy now. You know what he needs, Odie? A bath. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> no, 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 I don't need a bath, I don't, stop! No, no, I had a bath, it was, uh, I moved me before last, no, 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 stop, 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 help! Stop, 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 Lizard noses, two pinches of tarantula hair, a spoonful of moldy peanut butter. Oh, oh, <laughs> hello. I'm Mrs. Cauldron, your friendly neighborhood old lady, who might be a witch. Never more! Quiet. I have a story to tell. So, here it is, and I'm not saying it's true. But I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> it happened one day as I was flying home on my brand new Class 13 vacuum cleaner with full options, including parking sensors. <laughs> oh, this would be great. <laughs> This is the bungee cord John used the one time he went bungee jumping. Not a successful activity. Bodie, wake up. You want to fetch the stick? Then go fetch the stick. Like Garfield, but there are times when he just goes too far. <laughs> Hello, Odie. Now you know why Garfield can do things like that to you, don't you? <laughs> because you're not that smart, and if you were that smart, you know that's the reason. <laughs> Would you like to be smarter? A lot smarter? Okay, I'm not sure you'll like it, but here goes. <laughs> Odie always had a good heart, but suddenly he had a good brain to go with it. <laughs> well, that was great. Huh. I wonder why the bungee cord causes someone to bounce around like that. Actually, it's all due to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Odie. Don't mention it. <sighs> Newton's third law of motion. I should have known. <laughs> Odie, you said something. Not only that, but it was something, you know, like... Intelligent. Ah, huh. well, maybe I just never had anything to say before. Ugh. It was also a new experience for Odie, being able to do things he'd never done before. There you go. I changed the filter, tightened all the belts, and updated the software on your global positioning system. Well, thank you, Odie. I do hope you enjoy being intelligent. Of course. I can read and write and solve problems and fix things. Well, I just hope you keep feeling that way. Uh, one last thing, Odie. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I'm smart now. I'm not dumb enough to let that happen. Good. See you around. Thanks again. Uh, for a while, at least. I guess it was a good thing. Oh, I don't have time to play, Odie. I have to get my taxes done, and it's just impossible. 
Oh, I need some coffee. I'm going to be up all night. Let's see, form 2030 itemized deduction. What's he talking about? This is a breeze. He never said anything before. I've kicked him off the table 7,000 times. He never said a word except you. Mm. I'm going to be up all night doing my taxes, Garfield. Mm. <gasps> Bodie, what are you doing in my chair? <sighs> you did my taxes? Yes, and I got you a refund. He looks perfectly normal to me, John, um, except that he's suddenly become a genius. Huh? I gave him an intelligence Ooh. test, and, well, let's just say he's twice as smart as we are. Twice as smart as either of us? No, twice as smart as you and I put together. If you'll excuse me, I have a sick pussycat that needs attention. Huh? It appears you've been eating too much mixed grill. Try switching to a low-sodium salmon cap mm. food. John couldn't believe how smart his dog was. He shot videos of Odie and put them on the internet. Oh. Before long, Odie was famous. The smartest dog in the world. That's what they're calling him since his online videos have had 50 million hits. My Odie? On Monday, he became the world champion of chess. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it. I just got checkmate by a dog. On Tuesday, he went on a game show. Odie, for a small fortune, when they built the Great Wall of China, who was the foreman? You've written Chin Lu Hao. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. You win the small fortune. Odie promptly donated the entire small fortune to a worthy charity. I thought he was supposed to be smart. And perhaps most impressive, he figured out how to set up one of those beach chairs no one can ever figure out. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I've been trying for 22 years to understand how to open that chair. In just a few short days, everyone around the world has become excited about Odie. This is your gossip reporter, Brandon Scoops, signing off. <sighs> You're just jealous because Odie's getting all this fame and attention. Oh, great. Now I have a smart mouse, too. And someone inside the world wasn't too happy, either. He was Emperor Glorm, ruler of the kingdom at the center of the earth. I've been trying for 22 years to understand Emperor how to open Glorm, that chair. do you think that dog is really as smart as they say? Hmm. Smarter! And that worries me, my loyal sloth people. That canine is smart enough to lead the surface people to conquer us! <laughs> of course, if we captured him, he could tell us how to conquer the surface people! I'm sorry, my dog can't help you. Everybody wants Odie to solve their problems. Odie. Do you think you can solve mine? I'll try. What is it? I have a lousy part in this episode. <laughs> I think I can solve your problem and my own by getting out of this house. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Huh? So, Oli made a hasty exit, leaving Garfield to deal with the mobs of people outside. I know how to handle this. Please, people, I'm telling you, my dog can't solve all your problems. No, but your cat can. Yes, it's me, Garfield Cat. I'm here to share my colossal brain with you all. Ask me anything. I want to talk to the dog. I want to talk to the dog. I'm going to bed until this episode is over. Meanwhile, Odie was trying to figure out the one thing he didn't know. Why being so smart was more trouble than being stupid. Hey, Odie, can you tell me how to run my comic book shop so I can make more money? Hey, Odie, can you tell me a good way I can catch a dog? Like, say, you? Hey, Odie, will you do my homework for me? Everywhere he went, somebody wanted something.
but finally he was alone. <sighs> or so he thought. Hey, let me go! Unhand me! So, this is the smartest dog in the world. <laughs> Well, smart dog, I trust you are smart enough to know that your survival depends on you helping me to conquer the surface world. Why me? What do you want with me? You have knowledge. Knowledge is power. And I want power. Tell me, dog, how did you get to be so smart? Odie tried to think, but all he could think about was how life was so much easier before he got to be so smart. And then he remembered something he'd heard. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I said, how did you get to be so smart? Well, a little old witch named Mrs. Cauldron cast a spell on me. This? Yeah. This is the smartest creature on this planet? Use the cerebral gauge. Measure his brain power. No discernible intelligence. We might as well return to our world below. That's really all there is to the story, I guess. Hey, Odie, can you answer a question for me? <laughs> he went home dumb but happy. And he stayed that way. <laughs> so, here it is. And I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> and best of all, I got my show back. Sure, <laughs> boy. days. Thanks for taking care of Mrs. Ferret for me, John. Oh, glad to do it. But thanks for reminding me. I haven't fed her since this morning. Well, if she has to wait a little while, it isn't a crisis. It is if she starts eating Garfield's food. Oh, right. <laughs> Hiya, guys! What's on TV? Hey, those freshly baked cookies mm. look delicious! Touch one, and the next thing around here that will be freshly baked will be ferret pie. Here you go, Mrs. Ferret. A nice tasty bowl of ferret kibble. <laughs> oh, Garfield, I just made a meatloaf for you. It's out in the kitchen. You mean I have to go all the way out there to get it? <sighs> well, I guess I could do it with a little exercise. Gee, almost sounds like food. <laughs> Come on, Odie. Let's go enjoy the meatloaf. I'll eat. You smell. Ooh, meatloaf? I have no idea what that is, but it's got to be better than this. <laughs> Odie, did you get the license number of that tornado? <gasps> My meatloaf! <laughs> This is a lot better than ferret food. You ate someone else's food. Who do you think you are, me? Oh, we ferrets are so hyperactive. We burn off all the food we eat. Unlike certain cats I can name. I'm not fat. I just have very thick fur. <laughs> I'm never going to eat ferret food again. <laughs> I can't blame her for that. But I can blame her for eating my meatloaf. 
Unfortunately, I always keep leftover chow mein in the refrigerator for just such an occasion. See? <coughs> I'm surprised she left the plate. <laughs> Spoken too soon. Okay. I didn't want to resort to this, but she's left me no choice. <laughs> Odie, Mrs. Ferret has forced me to take drastic action. <laughs> huh? You've never seen this before? The sign says, in case of pizza emergency, press button. <laughs> Here we are, Vito's Linguini for you all, piping hot and so delicious. Uh -huh. oh, oh. The car field alert! I'm coming! I'm coming! Here you are, here you are, here is Vito with your pizza. Um, oh, no pepperoni. Well, in an emergency, you have to settle for what you can get. The wrong pizza is still better than no pizza. Delicious, but it would have been so much better with pepperoni. Why, I got it. I know just how you feel, Goff. You know all that cheese I had stored up? Well, I don't have it anymore. She got your cheese? She even ate the limb burger. Huh? You need to work on your speed. Beat her at her own game. The mouse is right. She's fast. If I want to get anything to eat around here, I need to be faster. And I huh? know just the guy who can teach you. Tomorrow morning at the park. Crack a dawn. <gasps> the crack a dawn? I woke up at 6 a.m. for normal? <sighs> and since when are you a fitness coach? As the four-time winner of the healthiest feline pageant, I happen to know a thing or two about keeping in shape. Squeak says you need to be able to outrun someone. Well, do as I tell you. If you want something bad enough, it'll happen. I've tried that and it doesn't work. You're still here. Ahem. <clears throat> If you ever want to eat again, try this. One, two, one, two. Touch your toes, Garfield. One, two. Touch him? One, two, I can't one, even see him. One, hey, Odie, one, touch my toes for me. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I don't see why this is supposed to make you healthier. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. See that big boulder over there? I want you to run up there. Give me one good reason why I should. I put three chocolate flavored energy bars on top of it. Oh, three good reasons. First one who reaches the boulder gets to eat them. Hmm. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, what just happened? Mrs. Ferret just happened. Mm. Oh, those are even better than pizza. Uh, is that who you're oh. trying to get faster than? Yep. Whew, oh. Forget it. It'll never happen. I hate when Nermal's right. No. <laughs> okay, time to try something else. <laughs> Let's see. For better speed, lubricate the wheels of the roller blades before every use. A drop or two will do just fine. <laughs> I'm competing with a super fast ferret here. Better use the whole bottle. Garfield, Odie, lunch is ready. Lunch? Let's roll. Uh, is everything okay? I can explain. I baked your favorite lasagna. But on second thought, I think now I'm going to split it between Mrs. Ferret, Odie, and myself. <laughs> you just wait. Behold, Odie, with this jetpack, I'll leave that ferret in the dust. <gasps> nice outfit. What does it do? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Garfield, Odie, dinner is ready. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Actually got food. Garfield, she's just too fast for you. You're right. Oh well, eating was nice while it lasted. Oh. Well, at least you'll get skinny, like that gal on TV. Hi, that's me. Back when I was thin and skinny, everyone made fun of me. Now, thanks to Phil's fast fat formula, I've gained 296 pounds, and no one ever makes fun huh? of me. That's Phil's Fast Fat Formula. Order today. That's the answer. <laughs> if it can't speed me up, I'll slow her down. Boy, if ever I had a customer who didn't need this. Knock off the snide remarks and sell me the stuff. <laughs> Hello? No, I don't want to buy a grass hut in the Aleutian Islands. Thank you. This should be ready in no time. <laughs> Garfield, Odie, dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, oh, hi, guys. Too bad there's enough of this for... Oh, there will be. Any of you. <laughs> and when you're done, here are some brownies I made for dessert. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're too fat and slow to reach them, Mrs. Ferret. Too bad. I'll have this one, and this one, and this one. And here's one for you, Odie. And here's one for you, Squeak. And I'll have this one, and this one, and this one. And this one. Thanks for taking care of Mrs. Ferret while I was away, John. Oh, we're glad to have her anytime. But she seems to have put on too many pounds while she was here to, <laughs> to fit into the pet transport cage. <laughs> you know, Eddie, leftovers may be my favorite food in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got rid of Mrs. Ferret for a while. What you eating? Hmm, leftovers. You may have some if there are any leftover leftovers. Oh, hey, you know that lasagna you put the fast fat formula into? Hmm, yes, pray tell. Well, Mrs. Ferret never finished it, so John put it in the container in the refrigerator. Hmm, oh, that's good. John always says. <laughs> What are you gonna do? <gasps> this is too fat, even for me. What am I gonna do? You're going to huh? exercise, Garfield, uh, and I'm just the personal trainer who can help you. You can help me, Normal. You can help me do my favorite exercise. Oh, what's that, Garfield? <laughs> you leave me alone, Garfield! When I get a hold of you, you're gonna be so sorry. You know. If Garfield chases Nermal every time Nermal annoys him, Garfield's gonna lose that weight in no time. Right? <laughs> 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 